Hey explorers, get ready to splash into the most amazing underwater adventure ever. We're going to discover incredible creatures, explore mysterious places, and have a super fun time learning all about our amazing oceans. Are you ready to become an ocean expert? Let's dive in. Imagine a world filled with sparkling blue water, colorful fish, and giant gentle creatures. That's the ocean. It covers most of our planet and is home to more animals than we can even count. Today, we're going on a special mission to meet some of these amazing ocean friends. We'll learn their names, see where they live, and find out what makes them so special. Get your explorer hats on. We'll also discover how these animals are perfectly built for life underwater. And guess what? We'll learn how we can help keep their home safe and clean. This journey is perfect for curious kids and awesome homeschoolers who love animals and adventure. We'll mix learning with games, crafts, and lots of exciting discoveries. Let's start our adventure by taking a peek at the incredible world waiting for us. Get ready for some amazing sights and sounds from the deep blue sea. Our adventure begins with a big splash. Let's watch a super cool video or look at some bright pictures of the ocean. See all the different colors and shapes? It's like a whole other world down there. Listen to the sounds of the ocean. Can you hear the waves? Maybe even some animal sounds? It's a busy place. Now let's chat. What was the first animal you saw that made you say, wow? Have you ever been to the beach or seen the ocean before? What do you already know about the ocean or the animals that live there? Share your ideas. There are no wrong answers on this adventure. Let's get creative and build our own little piece of the ocean. Grab a shoebox, some blue paper, maybe some sand or glitter. We can make a mini ocean scene. Cut out some simple fish shapes or draw your favorite sea creature. Glue them into your shoebox ocean. Add some seaweed made from green paper. This diorama will be your personal window into the aquatic world we're exploring. You can add more animals as we meet them on our journey. Making things with our hands helps us remember what we're learning. Plus, it's super fun to create your own underwater world. The ocean is full of incredible animals, big and small. Let's meet some of the stars of the sea. We'll learn their names and some cool facts about them. First up, the dolphin. Dolphins are super smart and playful. They love to leap out of the water and swim fast. They use clicks and whistles to talk to each other. Did you know dolphins are mammals just like us? They breathe air with lungs and even feed milk to their babies. Next, the mighty shark. Sharks come in many sizes, from tiny ones to the huge whale shark. They are amazing hunters and have been around for millions of years. Sharks have special senses that help them find food. They are important for keeping the ocean healthy. Not all sharks are scary, some are quite gentle. Look at the sea turtle. These ancient reptiles have hard shells to protect them. They swim long distances across the ocean. Sea turtles come to shore to lay their eggs in the sand. It's important to keep beaches clean for them. They eat things like jellyfish and seaweed. Say hello to the clownfish. These bright orange and white fish live in anemones. The anemone protects the clownfish and the clownfish helps the anemone stay clean. It's a perfect partnership. Clownfish are small but mighty. They are famous thanks to a certain popular movie about a lost fish. Watch out for the jellyfish. These wobbly, see-through creatures float in the water. They don't have brains or bones. Jellyfish use their tentacles to catch food. Some can sting, so it's best to admire them from a distance. They are truly unique ocean dwellers. Let's not forget the starfish, also called a sea star. These amazing creatures aren't fish at all. They usually have five arms, but some have many more. Starfish can even regrow an arm if they lose one. They move slowly along the ocean floor using tiny tube feet. And the giant of the sea, the whale. Whales are the largest animals on Earth. Like dolphins, they are mammals and breathe air. Some whales sing beautiful songs that travel for miles underwater. There are different kinds, like the humpback whale and the blue whale. Finally, the clever octopus. Octopuses have eight arms and are masters of disguise. They can change color and texture to blend in with their surroundings. Octopuses are very intelligent and can solve problems. They live in dens and are quite shy. 
Let's play a game. I'll give you some clues about an animal we just met, and you guess, who am I? I have eight arms and can change color. Who am I? An octopus. How about this one? I'm a mammal. I'm very smart and I love to jump out of the water. Who am I? A dolphin. Let's try imitating some animal sounds. Can you make a clicking sound like a dolphin? How about a long, low sound like a whale song? We can also use fun online games to meet more animals. Websites like National Geographic Kids have great interactive activities about sea creatures. Let's make some animal fact cards. Draw or print pictures of the animals we met. Write their name and one cool fact you learned on a card. You can use these cards to play matching games or quiz your family. Learning facts is more fun when you make it a game. Just like we live in houses or apartments, ocean animals live in different kinds of homes called habitats. The ocean has many different neighborhoods. One amazing neighborhood is the coral reef. Coral reefs are like colorful underwater cities built by tiny animals called polyps. Lots of fish and other creatures live here. Coral reefs are full of hiding places and food. Clownfish, sea turtles, and countless other fish call the coral reef home. It's a busy, vibrant place. Another habitat is the kelp forest. Kelp is a type of giant seaweed that grows tall like trees underwater. It provides shelter and food for many animals. Sea otters, fish, and other creatures live among the swaying kelp stalks. It's like a forest, but underwater. Then there's the deep sea. This is the mysterious part of the ocean, very dark and cold. Animals here have special ways to survive without sunlight. Some deep sea creatures make their own light, like the anglerfish with its glowing lure. It's a strange and fascinating place. Let's not forget tide pools. These are rocky pools left behind when the tide goes out. You can find them along the coast. Tide pools are home to starfish, crabs, sea anemones, and small fish. They are like little mini oceans you can explore safely. Let's play a habitat matching game. Draw or find pictures of the different habitats. Coral reef, kelp forest, deep sea, tide pool. Now match the animals we met to the habitat where they live. Where would you find a clownfish? Coral reef. Where might you see a starfish? Tide pool or ocean floor? How about taking a virtual field trip? We can watch videos that take us right into a coral reef or an aquarium. It's like being there without getting wet. Let's create a tide pool sensory bin. Get a bin and fill it with water. Add some rocks, shells, and small toy sea creatures. You can feel the different textures and imagine you're exploring a real tide pool. It's a fun way to experience a habitat with your hands. Thinking about where animals live helps us understand why they look and act the way they do. Every habitat is special. Ocean animals have amazing superpowers that help them live in the water. These special features are called adaptations. Think about the shark's body. It's smooth and streamlined, like a perfect swimming machine. This shape helps them glide through the water quickly to catch food. That's an adaptation. A sea turtle has a big, strong shell. This shell is like built-in armor that protects it from predators. It's also heavy, which helps it dive deep. That's another adaptation. Jellyfish have stinging tentacles. This is their way of catching food and protecting themselves. It's a superpower they use in the water. What about the pufferfish? When it feels scared, it can puff up its body like a balloon. This makes it too big and spiky for other animals to eat. What a cool adaptation. Let's play adaptation charades. Let's act out different animal superpowers. Can you puff up like a pufferfish? Can you swim super fast like a shark? Can you hide by changing colors like an octopus? Let's see your best animal adaptations. Let's look at pictures of unique animal features and talk about why do they have that. Why does a whale have a blowhole on top of its head? So it can breathe air easily when it comes to the surface. Why does a fish have gills? To breathe underwater. Why does a starfish have tube feet? To move and hold on to things. Now, for a super creative challenge, let's build an animal. Imagine a new ocean habitat. Is it super cold, very dark, full of strong currents? Now, design your own imaginary sea creature that can live there. 
what adaptations would it need? Give it special fins, unique eyes, or maybe a way to make its own light. Draw your creature and explain its superpowers. This helps us understand how amazing real animal adaptations are. Learning about adaptations shows us how perfectly suited animals are to their homes. It's like nature's incredible engineering. Our oceans are amazing, but they need our help. Pollution and trash can hurt the animals in their homes. We can all be ocean heroes. One big problem is trash, especially plastic, getting into the ocean. Animals can mistake plastic for food or get tangled in it. Let's do a beach cleanup simulation. Get a bin and put some trash in it. Maybe some crumpled paper, plastic lids, or bottle caps. Make sure they are clean and safe. Now, pretend the bin is the beach and the trash is hurting the animals. Carefully pick up the trash and sort it. Which pieces could be recycled? Recycling is a great way to help the ocean. When we recycle, less trash ends up in landfills or worse, in the water. Let's make some recycling crafts. Use clean plastic bottles, cardboard tubes, or paper scraps to create ocean-themed art. Maybe a fish from a plastic bottle or a crab from cardboard. This shows us that old things can become new things instead of becoming trash that harms animals. Let's have a what can we do brainstorm. What are simple things we can do every day to help the ocean? We can use less plastic, like using reusable water bottles and bags. We can save water at home because the water we use eventually goes back to the ocean. We can tell our friends and family how important the ocean is. The more people who care, the more we can protect it. Being an ocean hero means making small choices that help our big blue planet. Every little bit helps. Remembering what we learned about the animals and their homes makes us want to protect them even more. We are guardians of the ocean. Wow, what an incredible journey we've had. We've met amazing animals, explored different habitats, learned about superpowers, and discovered how to be ocean heroes. The ocean is full of endless wonders, and our adventure is just beginning. There are so many more creatures and mysteries to discover. Keep asking questions, keep exploring, and keep caring about our amazing planet and its oceans. You are now official aquatic adventurers. Want to keep the fun going? Grab some ocean books from the library. Watch more nature documentaries. Visit an aquarium if you can. Draw the pictures of your favorite animals. Teach someone else a cool fact you learned today. Every bit of learning and sharing makes a difference. So keep that explorer spirit alive. Dive deeper into the world of aquatic animals and become a champion for our oceans. Ready for your next adventure? Let's keep learning and exploring together. Now here's your mission, should you choose to accept it. Go tell someone one amazing fact you learned about an ocean animal today. Then, think of one small thing you can do this week to help protect the ocean, like using less plastic or saving water. Share your fact and your action plan in the comments below or with your family. Let's make a splash for ocean conservation.